So the stickers have arrived. Here they are. We'll go through them. These are the 1516STI, the 1516WRX. These are all 11 to 14 hatch, and these are all 11 to 14 STI sedan. And these are 9 inch Japanese rumbles. So the colors for each model will be regular blue, red, pink, purple, Tiffany blue, silver, gold, and white. Now that applies to these and to these. And then here are the Japanese rumbles again, white, Tiffany blue, red, pink, blue, purple, silver. So go ahead, send me a DM and Instagram. Uh, Instagram cfletch101, already getting notifications. 10 bucks each shipped through PayPal. Go ahead, buy a sticker if you want. Hey, what's up guys? Today we'll be talking about how to maintain a wrap on your car and also some, some tips. So as you guys can possibly see, my car is completely filthy. Um, now as you see, I just rubbed my hand across the back of the bumper and I'm not worried about it scratching. You can use old dish towels, the infamous duster that just spreads the dust and creates dust marks and scratches all over regular paint. You can use, even use your hand. Whoops. Um, basically, you can use anything that doesn't have any metal or plastic um, spikes, stuff that sticks out of them that could possibly gouge this. You can you could use a shirt, pants, boxers, you name it. Um, honestly, though, I would recommend just using regular old microfiber towels and some decent spray. Now, because this is matte, I'm going to talk about two of the cleaning products I use and one of them is from Chemical Guys. It's their matte detailer spray. It's basically like a detailer spray of any other sort. You spray it on, wipe it, let it absorb, and then buff it off. Super easy to use. Um, this is my second bottle. I've gone through one already. It's just nice when you go to a car meet or you don't want to fully wash your car, you can just use this. Another thing is a local car wash place around here. Now, if you don't have a matte car, this will probably be better because I don't think you should use this matte detailer spray on a gloss wrap. This is the Eco Wash, um, sorry, Eco Green Auto Clean, and it's waterless wash, and it works perfectly well on any car, but I also use it on my wrapped car. Now, let's say you're going to wash your car. Um, what's really nice is you don't have to worry about scratches, so you can spray on the water, wipe the soap however you want to wipe it and go ahead and wash it off and dry it however you want to want however you want and don't worry about scratch marks at all now you, I do use a pressure washer because I trust the guy who did my wrap and at first I started from farther away and slowly worked my way in to see if it would peel if you have a pressure washer I would do the same thing work your way from a farther distance closer because you don't want to end up peeling your freshly wrapped car um, Let's talk about some other tips on how to maintain your car, or your, sorry, your wrap. Um, if you see bird droppings, wipe that off immediately because it will stain. I have one stain on the top of my roof because I didn't see a bird dropping. Anything acidic like sap, um, those yellow marks that sometimes fall on your car. I don't know what people say that bird piss. Some people say that's airplane fluid. I don't know what it is, but those can stain. Uh, Mud poo, sap, that yellow stuff, bugs. Bugs are a big one because they're acidic. Anything acidic, you just want to wipe it off immediately. You don't want to let things that isn't dirt sit on your car for a very, very long time because it will just stain your wrap. And then also water spots. Sometimes I don't dry my car and I just let the water dry. I don't get water spots, but that's because I park it in the shade. If you wash your car and it's wet and you leave it out in the sun there is a possibility that you will get water spots so dry that off right away other things is don't wear clothing or don't it's common sense of all cars and no matter if it's wrapped or not don't wear say jeans with those bronze metal pegs sticking out and just graze up against the side of your car because that will possibly tear the wrap um i have had occasions where things get caught on the wrap more easily than they do on my paint like say my uh what was it 
forget exactly what it was, but I did leave a little gouge taking something out of the trunk that wouldn't have happened if I had regular paint. So just be aware that this is a little more grabby than regular paint. So if you're wearing something or something's loose that it could possibly catch the wrap and peel it or make a little gouge easier than it would on your regular paint. Now, also, it's okay to leave it out in the sun. It's um, vinyl 3M, so it can withstand sun pretty well and not fade. I wouldn't say leave it outside in the sun for a month's time and never worry or move your car because I don't know if it will fade or not. But also, if you are wrapping your own car, know that the uh, elements will change. So if you're, say, wrapping it in cold weather, it's going to be a little easier to stretch and to manipulate the wrap. But then when it gets hot, it's going to shrink. So there's a little part on the top of my wing riser that he did. And when it got really hot, it shrunk. And so there's a sliver of white showing. So just be aware of that. That's something that most people don't think about that in the weather the wrap will shrink and conform when it gets hot the wrap will be easier to uh, actually peel off so say in the California days where it reaches 80 90 degrees you are not want to going to be playing with the edges or anything like that where it could possibly catch and peel off the car but overall maintaining a wrapped car is super easy it's way easier than having a painted car because like I said before, I don't have to detail it. I can be really careless about how I wash it. I don't have to worry about swirl marks, scratching it, anything like that. Um, the only bad thing is that acidic thing stain. I guess a dog decided to pee on my front bumper and it. I didn't notice it until after a couple of days of where it was really hot. So it definitely soaked in and now it's stained. But I mean, my front bumper is fucked anyways that I need to redo it within some time because one, there's so many rock chips two, the dog peed on it, three, valet screwed my front bumper and never paid for it, and four, one part of the wrap is tearing because it's in a weird conformed figuration that's really hard to get to. But the pros of a wrap are amazing. It protects your car from rock chips. The sun is killer. Um, there's so many rock chips in my actual vinyl and hood vinyl that have saved my car, the buttery soft paint of Subarus from so many rock chips. Three, it looks good because you can change it to basically any color you want. Yeah, guys, um, overall, wrap's really easy to keep clean. It's really easy to maintain. If you have any more questions, this is kind of a brief video, but oh well. If you have any more questions, leave them down below. I'm sure to answer them. Peace out. Look at that booty.